Uh, Muhammad from the States. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I've been doing research in regards to lost and found items in Islam. To, to what? The Prophet, uh, uh, in regards to lost and found items in Islam. Okay, okay. Yeah, so the Prophet Salam said in an authentic narration, and I quote, remember and recognize its time material and its container and make public announcements about it for one year. If somebody comes and identifies it, then give it to him, otherwise add it to your property, end quote. What I wanted to ask you today was, would the same directions apply to lost cats or lost pets or any other type of lost animals? Owners unfortunately lose their cats in my neighborhood often, and I usually find the cats and bring them back to my place. Thank you, Jazakallah Khair. Wajazakum. First of all, it is not permissible for you to pet a dog. So this is out of the question. Secondly, as for the cat, if it is a stray cat that has no badges, no traces, no marks on it, it's for you to keep. I have no clue whether this is a domestic pet or a stray cat. So if there, there are no traces, such as a collar or a tag number or a name or whatever, to prove to me that this belongs to someone, then yeah, it is for you to keep. There's nothing wrong in keeping it, inshallah. Thirdly, it is best, of course, if you know that most likely this belongs to someone and they've lost their kitten or cat and they're emotionally attached to it, that you announce it. Yeah, and don't be so cheap. You can get cats elsewhere and ask people to donate who have uh, um, extra cats, and there are so many of them. Fourthly, the hadith you've mentioned about al-luqatah, which is lost and found, this is about property that has value and it belongs to someone that can be identified. So if I found a pen like this, which costs peanuts, you know, pennies, on the ground, I can take it and move on. I don't have to identify it because if people dropped it, they wouldn't go half an hour later to look for it. It's so cheap, it's negligible. But if you found a pen that is worth like $150, something of value or more, you can't keep that. You have to identify the brand, the color, the shape it's in, and then announce around you that, listen, I found an item of some value. So whoever had lost something within the vicinity of this area, please contact me. And you'll get people calling you, say, listen, I lost my watch, I lost my, my wallet, I lost this and that. And you can just simply ignore uh, uh, these calls and say, no, it's not what I found. Until someone tells you, I found a pen. So explain. It described the pen. He says it's a brand of so and so. I said, sorry, it's not the pen. Until someone fits the description correctly, and then you can give it to them, and Allah Azza wa knows best.